Sports for Real with Coach Hall. You know, one of the things I do on the side, I ride around and pick people up and drop them off and take them where they need to go. And yesterday I was riding around and I picked up this lady and she was kind of like needing a little bit of assistance. So I get out of the vehicle and I help her into the vehicle. And while I'm helping her, I just happened to look down and I noticed this big pocketbook and it was imprinted with Dallas Cowboys stickers and emblems. So before I can even say hi or hello to this lady, I'm already on a case about this cowboy stuff. You, you, you can't be getting in my car with no cowboy stuff. I'm just giving her a hard time, you know. But she was real friendly about the situation. So we, we get to talking like, you know, just friendly conversation that spun from the football talk. And she talked about how the people up in Washington, when she lived there, really gave her a hard time about being a Cowboys fan. So much so that when she put her gear on, she couldn't get any peace. But when she put a Jaguar shirt on, nobody hardly said anything to her. Then she went to talking about the old guy that died not long ago. His name was Chief Z. If you don't know who Chief Z is, that is the black gentleman, the tall black gentleman who used to wear those glasses, who famously said during Super Bowl 17, right before John Riggins made his run to knock off Miami, crank up that diesel. So I thought it was interesting as we talked about Chief Z, to find that he came from Jacksonville. So you wonder, how does a guy from Jacksonville become a Redskins fan? Well, back in the 40s and 50s, the farthest team south up until 1966 when the Falcons came into the league was the Redskins. So they have a gigantic print in the south. Matter of fact, my late brother, he was a big Redskins fan. But the Redskins were so strong in the South that when the Falcons tried to come in in 66 and the Panthers in 95, Redskins owners tried to block that because they didn't want those teams taken away from their fan base. So I find that rather interesting. But again, it was easy for the league to be pretty much East Coast back then because it, it, it was hard to get to the West Coast. Transportation wasn't like it is now. Matter of fact, the first two teams in the West didn't come into play until San Francisco and the Rams came to Los Angeles. Now, San Francisco and Cleveland Browns were in the AAFL. In the NFL, they had the Cleveland Rams. The Cleveland Rams left for Los Angeles after the 1949 season. To take their place, the Browns moved into the NFL. The Browns, who people thought was a Bush League team, ran through the league, ran through the best teams in the league, made it all the way to the championship. Lo and behold, who did they play? The newly minted Los Angeles Rams. But during the conversation, like I say, I found out that Chief Z was from Jacksonville. And the fact that they had that name change up in Washington from the Redskins to the Commanders, it kind of ties in with, with Chief Z in Jacksonville. Last couple of years, there's been a couple of name changes from some of the schools in the local area. A lot of the schools in Jacksonville were named after Confederate heroes, Confederate generals. One of the famous schools, Jacksonville Lee, named after General Lee. You also have Jeb Stewart, Jefferson Davis, and there's several others named after Confederate, Confederate heroes. So when you start to think about how the Redskins changed their name, it kind of parallels with what's taking place in, in Jacksonville. Even though there's a name change, there are old timers like myself who remember what those schools were called. They still look the same. They didn't change a whole lot. So when I ride by the newly minted Riverside High School, as far as I'm concerned, that's still Jacksonville Elite. And the same is thought about the Redskins. They're not the Redskins anymore, they're commanders. But the old timers like myself, they're always going to be the Redskins. And even though that's a very offensive name that need to be changed, needed to be changed, to the old timers like myself is always pretty much going to be the Redskins. You hear it sometimes in broadcasts, they make the mistake of the Redskins slip out, because it's the same thing. You can change the name, but you can't change what's already minted inside somebody else. So the new names are really for the younger folks who doesn't know any better, but for us old folks, it's always going to be that old name regardless of political correctness. So I thought it was interesting to meet somebody who knew this guy, Chief Z, and to find out that he was from Jacksonville and find out the parallels between Jacksonville 
name change in the schools and the same thing with the Redskins and the fact that Chief Z kind of took offense to people saying that the Redskins name was offensive. You'll find the same thing about some of these schools around here in Jacksonville. So just the things you run across when you start talking about sports. Sports for real.